so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, bless God, I have a word for you today. Do you know when God has anointed you, when he has given you a task to do, do you know that the evil one will send people your way? He will even speak through your family members and those that are close to you to try to talk you out of what God uh, has anointed and appointed you to do. You know, I'm reminded of that story of our Lord in the Gospel of Matthew, the 16th chapter. You know, when God began to open up his heart and he began to share with his disciples about, you know, him going to the cross. What did Peter do? Peter began to say some things that Jesus had to check that spirit on. And we have to be those that check that spirit. You know, the Bible says in 1 John 4, it says to tell the spirits to see whether they be of God. We can't let the devil, hallelujah, run our life. So come on and go with me as we study in the gospel of Matthew, the 16th chapter. The Bible says in the gospel of Matthew, the 16th chapter, I want to begin reading in your hearing from verse 21. From that time, Jesus began to show to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him saying, far be it from you, Lord, this shall not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me. For you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for even this type of word, Father. Will we get to see how the enemy can use others? Will we get to see the enemy in action? as he tries to stop the plan of God for the people of God. And so, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, those that you have called that are listening to this video, Father, those that the enemy has sent his little cohorts, God, to, to work against your plan, I bind them spirits. I pray you give your people wisdom and discernment, Father God, and I pray they would not abort the mission Father God, but they would go strong, they would go forward in the Lord. So give them wisdom, I pray, Father. For you said if anyone lacks wisdom, let them ask, Father. Give them the spirit of discernment, God, that they may be able to test the spirit to see whether or not it is God. God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, your will and your will alone be done in the lives of your people. So Father, as I speak this little message, God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would lead me by your spirit so that your people would be edified my lord and you would be glorified so let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart god let it be acceptable in thy sight oh lord my strength and my redeemer i pray and i ask these things in the mighty name of jesus amen just wanted to come on real quickly because I can sense in my spirit that the evil one is up to something. You know, he's trying, hallelujah, to stop the plan of God in the lives of God's people. And I want you to know, if you have experienced an onslaught of negativity, if you know that God has called you, stand, hallelujah. If you know that God has given you something to do for him, for the kingdom, stand. Now, just as as in this text, you know, Jesus knew what God had sent him on this earth to do. Yet the enemy even tried to get in through Peter, who was close to the Lord, you know, to speak some things into our Lord's life that, you know, could somehow abort the mission. And we know uh, that Jesus was steadfast. The Bible declares that his eyes was fixed toward Jerusalem. So there was no turning back. But I want you to know, even if you have come against uh, some opposition because not only will the enemy try to use people to speak into your life but he'll bring all type of opposition he'll bring all types of trials and tribulations uh, he'll try uh, again to get you to abort 
the mission, but I want to speak faith into the life of God's people tonight. Now, I want you to know that you, if you would continue to go forward in the power of God, knowing that if God has called you, if he has ordained you, then God is going to sustain you. You're going to get, hallelujah, to what God has planned for your life. If you would yet continue to move forward, if you would yet not allow the enemy to speak through others, but as first John says, you know, test the spirits to see whether they be of God, knowing that it is the thief that has come to steal kill and destroy but again i speak life to you today and i say and i declare to you today that if you would just continue to move forward hallelujah knowing that god has called you knowing that he has a plan for your life knowing that he has something important for you to do for the kingdom if you would hold on to that as god begins to maneuver you through the traps and the ensnarement of the enemy just continue to go forward that is the one thing you know people ask you know how do you continue how do you continue you know when you're going through so much you just continue to move forward that is it how you keep your faith you continue to go forward it does not matter what it looks like it does not matter what people say hallelujah you have a word from God and that's what you hold on to you keep your eyes fixed on the Lord you pray hallelujah you fast hallelujah and you consecrate and draw yourself close to the Lord so that you might be able to accomplish what God has called you to do. So today I will say to you to continue to move forward in the Lord, no matter what has come against you, no matter who's trying to speak into your ear. Hallelujah. Deafen, I pray in the name of Jesus, even as I speak this message, that God would deafen your ear to the enemy. Hallelujah. That you would only hear those words. The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice and they know it. I pray that God's people would know his voice hallelujah and not the voice of the enemy so even though you may have come up against i can sense that those may you know there may be some that have come up against some oppositions no today if you would continue to move forward in the lord the beat will continue to go on meaning hallelujah it can the enemy cannot stop the plan of god for your life you know, I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. 
I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.